Hey guys and welcome to another Fortnite video and today I've got something very different for the channel. I've got um, some gameplay of uh, me. I know some of you said you wanted to see some gameplay so I finally got something out for you guys. Um, and I want you guys down below, let me know if you watch it to the end or let me just know your feedbacks on it. What can I improve on? What can I do? What do you like? What don't you like? Um, but anyway, I'm going to be talking just in general about the game, what's happening, cube event, and just a bit on the gameplay as well, guys. Now, um, as we jump down to Tilted, I never, ever, ever land Tilted, and uh, I only went there because I needed to do a challenge, and I, I didn't intentionally record this game, which is why I haven't got any gameplay for it. But um, the reason why I um, did land in Tilted is because I had a challenge to do, and I recorded a, a gameplay clip before this, um, and it wasn't that great, it wasn't that good, I was trying to tweak with it, um, but as we landed, I was absolutely panicking because I didn't have a gun and we landed in Tilted, I never landed Tilted, like I said, still haven't got a gun at this point, and then bang, straight away, there comes out the new Silent Scar, now, what do you guys think of it down below, and also in the chest we pick up mini shields and a, and a grenade launcher, I was like, from going to no weapons to having some of the best weapons in the game, I can see why people land at Tilted. We've got healer balls, we've got shields. I was absolutely loving it. And I could hear all this gunfight going on. And I was trying to look out the window, see if I could get a cheeky little cheeky little kill on her, someone here. But what do you guys think of the new Scar? Do you love it as much as I do? Or do you... Um, or do you prefer the old Scar? I know a lot of people say to me 50-50 on their mixed opinions. I just like their accuracy and silence. I think it has a lot more going for it than the than the normal scar you know the normal scar tells you where you're getting shot from it's quite noisy with the silent scar it does just as much damage it's rewards precision accuracy um and i just absolutely love it absolutely love it um if you gave me a choice of a normal scar and a silent scar i take the silent scar all the time but i know some people don't actually um would do that they'll take the normal scar over the silent scar in this gameplay um not in this gameplay, but in a gameplay I had previously. Um, I actually had two scars. I had the silenced one and the normal one, and I dropped the normal one for the silenced. Um, but just going back to the uh, game clip here, I was absolutely trying to loot up best I can. I didn't think I was going to make it out of Tilted. So, as you can see here, I'm searching. I'm searching. I can see someone in the distance. Get a couple hits on him, but I lose him, um, and I decide to leave him let him go, I'll wait for him, see if I can see him here, no, um, I can still hear a lot of gunfire as you can hear in the background and I'm searching, searching, thinking right, I've got to be wary here, I can come out this alive, I've got good loot, I've got the healer balls, I've got the weapons, what can we do here, and I basically searched this house for a little bit, um, and I'm searching, I'm looking, just seeing, this is the thing, you've got to be patient in Tilted, everyone runs about, but people like me right now looking in the windows, trying to track your movement, you just need to be patient with it. Now back to the cube event guys, where do you think the cube, oh, and there we go, just before we got rudely interrupted, I knew I could hear someone, and uh, <laughs> nice little kill, easy kill there, took no damage. And the P90, usually, I don't know why I didn't pick up the gold P90, I, I usually go for the P90, um, and I'm sure there's action outside of here, just because I killed that guy, um, I'm pretty sure there was some action out there, I couldn't see anything there, go to the front, still can't see anything, I'm surprised I dropped that P90 and then I hear the boogie bomb right there, so I know people are close, but I can't see them, I can't find them, are they in the building across to me? The gunshot's really close, and as you can hear, someone got killed there, and then someone else starts shooting in the action. I run out, I decide, right, let's see if I can find anyone in here. I run into this building because I decide it must be in here, and I go up because I can see that there was some action going on. I hear the chest, and I smash it, and I know someone's in this building now. I can hear him above me. Got Rift to go. Bang! There we go. He walks straight in on us. We get the shotgun kill. We hit him again there. And we were so lucky, he was absolutely doing a mad amount of damage there to us with the um, SMG. But luckily, we go in, we've got the healer balls, whack the mini shield on, get the med kit. And I can hear someone building up straight away, I decide I'm doing it, whacking on the thing. I can hear him running in front of in front of me, I think, no, I'm getting out of here. Getting out of here, use the rift to go and get out there as quickly as I can, go to a safe spot just outside Tilted so I can still watch the action, 
but I can heal up quickly and there's a, luckily a chest here on this building so I decide to smash my way in I'm gonna heal up and then I'm gonna get the chest and see if I can see anyone on the outskirts of uh, Tilted here but as I was saying then I'm surprised I leave the P90 usually I take the SMGs over the uh, shotguns just because I, I feel shotguns these days you know they're a little more tricky to use the SMGs just you know if you miss that first shot with the shotgun you're in trouble with the SMGs sort of more spray and pray I know some people don't like that game style or gameplay but um, I would if it was me I'd take the SMG get bullets down at the target make a couple hit make them panic panic build always is in your favor now I search because I know someone's in tilted still as they was looking for me luckily I used the rift to go to get out of there and with the silent scar if I do see anyone I can snipe them from a distance it's basically a sniper you don't know where they're coming from but yeah, so I was doing so well at this point with the gameplay, I decided to start recording. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't have my mic plugged in, which is hence why I'm doing the commentary here for you now, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know. What do you guys think? What do you do for? Would you rather do the SMG or would you pick up the shotgun? Interesting debate here. Um, and it is an interesting one. I usually, as I say, usually pick up the SMG. But anyway, gun off topic here the cube event what do you guys think it is going to happen i definitely think it is heading to loot late i know at the minute of time of me recording this video um it is in tilted towers and that is a troll epic games love a troll always want to troll us um i see a chest up here and i think it's risky to go for it but i think it's worth it just so i can oops accidentally fall there but i think it's worth it i think it's worth going up there for it um get it see if I can get any more healer balls and we do get a big shield which is exactly what I wanted I decide to run down here because I don't want to get sniped I go in the corner here so I can see in the valley see if anyone's running across see if anyone's there whack the big shield on run back up pick up what I dropped which is the bandages and I see someone that far um, I don't think I decide to shoot them or do I I just see them from afar I think I decide to leave them um, just because it is too far and I'm not going to get anywhere. Now there is a little bit of lag there guys. Um, I don't know why my connection was playing up. But back to the cube event. Epic Games love to troll us. They absolutely love it. I don't think it's going to happen anything until it, a building may get destroyed. Anything that comes in contact with the cube will be destroyed. Now I hear a lot of gunshots here. Um, I keep going back and forth between what I think is going to happen and the gameplay. I hear gunshots. I think it's coming from the mountain, but I can't be sure. I know I'm heading in the right direction and I'm proper wary here because I'm in the circle. We're in the valley. You want the higher ground. Always try and stay high. Don't go in the valley. It puts you at a disadvantage in my opinion. And uh, as we jump up here, I can still hear people nearby. As you hear another gunshot there, I keep thinking it's up on that thing, but then I see him building in front of me. I think, right, put some damage straight down. Look at that lasering. I love this gun. Absolutely lasers. Um, I put a couple of bullets down range. I know he's building up. A couple more bullets, and I, then I switch to my um, my rocket launcher, or grenade launcher, to say here. Fire a couple down range. Hopefully, some will bounce off, do some damage, and... Luckily, we get the kill there, guys. I was absolutely happy. Now, the kills, I was it is a high kill game, and I was so happy because I started recording. I was getting so many kills. I was, I was getting so many kills. I was just so happy. I usually don't get that many kills. I usually play my play style, and we got the legendary shotgun there, minis, healer balls, another med kit. But um, usually my play style is just to hang back, watch from a distance. If two if two people are going at each other, I'll be the third man, jump in, try and get both kills. It's usually my play style. But I decide to go right to the edge here, go across the river. And I don't think there's going to be a lot of people on this side of the map. So this is what I'm saying about my play style. I'm there, I'm wary, I'm running up. I'm going to go right to the edge of the circle here because I'm going around, making sure I don't go straight through the middle, make myself a target. I'm jumping, I'm jumping. I knew that guy was fighting someone and I knew he didn't finish him off so I'm making myself wary, being careful here, looking at distance, seeing if I can see anyone on that mountain because I know 100% there will be people on that mountain and I'm looking in flush factory as well because that is still in the circle and I'm looking, I can't see anyone at the minute. Now this spot here guys, this spot gets me a lot of kills um, as you'll see in a second. There we go and I see a target there and he doesn't know. 
He's panicking. He doesn't know where the shots are coming from. This is why I absolutely love it. So I had to build up. He spots me. We shotgun him twice. And look how much HP we was on. We almost lost it there. But luckily he had a slurp for us guys. So we whack that on. I'm feeling absolutely pumped. More minis again. I'm going to whack the minis on I think here. Just so I get my shield up a little bit. And he had a legendary scar for us. Silent scar legendary. I'm here. I'm whacking on the mini shields quick. Get back up to um, 50 shield. And then hopefully... We reload all our guns here. We just take a second. We just take a breather. We had a mad gunfight. We almost lost it. We was on such little HP. Um, and I've put the shield on. And as you can see there, it's doing my health. I've got the med kit back. And I hide in the bush. Just for a second. Just to take a second. I start healing myself. And I think, though, do I heal myself? I can't remember if I heal myself. We'll find out in a second here, guys. That's right. We're in the storm. And I see someone literally come out. And they had no idea I was there. Literally. I don't know how they didn't see me, but I run down, I try and get all this loot here as much as possible. Have a little bit of a balls up trying to pick up what I want. Um, but how did he not see me? I'll never know. See, sometimes bushes do pay off, guys. And uh, just replanning all the shields, all the stock, all my weapons. And I go back to this tree, guys. So there's two kills already on this tree. I think I get three or four under this tree. People just don't expect you to be under a tree. They expect you to be out in the open. That's why I like to play my style, you know, nice and safe. And uh... But anyway, going back to the cube event whilst I'm waiting here, um, I think it is 100% going to Loot Lake. What's going to happen in Loot Lake, I'm not too sure. There's rumour has it it's going to be lava. And I can hear someone and I'm searching here guys and I find someone there and I do a mad amount of damage there um, again look they whack up the the barricade they don't know where it's coming from I stay still so they don't see any movement and they don't know where it's coming from because once again the silent scar if this was a normal scar they would know what direction to look at because it's silenced they have no idea and uh, it's I try and follow him here follow him and I lose him behind this building I think oh damn it he's got to move in a minute I'm going to move with the storm um, he's in a dangerous position he's in a valley and then I see him there again get a couple more shots down range at him take his shield off and I start firing the rocket launcher putting more under pressure firing 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 and he starts moving again and luckily one of the last shots we fire in the grenade launcher gets that kill because we was moving with the storm there guys and he was as well and we're running down here i'm thinking blimey this is this is madness the amount of kills i've got could i go on and win this gameplay now i see someone at the top there i know someone's at the top of that mountain as i can see and i'm panicking because now i really want to win this game for you guys i hear the gunshots i look up i know it's coming from above i'm there i'm thinking right i know one person's above me here just play it safe i'm gonna run back here Get, and then it, look, as it pops up, the battery controller was absolutely low, so I had to stop, I was panicking, I had to plug in my controller, I was thinking, oh, I can't die, I don't die, I don't die, I don't die, I don't die, and I hide behind this, I think, why? Well, I know no one's come from behind me, 100%, because we cleared that out, that's where I come from, I hear rocket launchers coming down, I think they're coming down on me, they're not, they're going straight ahead, and we see a couple here in a minute go straight ahead here, I was absolutely panicking, I was thinking, they was coming on me, do I move? No, I'll wait. Alright, I'll move with the storm once again because I know he's going to have to come down from that mountain as well. So I'll wait here and I'm just looking. Back to the cube event, guys. I think something's going to happen at Loot Lake. I think a lava, possibly lava pit. It's in the fire game files for a lava thing. I think Loot Lake will come into lava. What is going to happen? Ragnarok, what's he got to do with the storyline? What is the storyline? Ah, <sighs> lot to cover here, guys, as you can tell I'm speaking quickly. He fires, keeps fires rockets down here. Now, I look to the left, I'm thinking, can I see anyone in my proficial here? To the left, are they coming straight from the storm? And I spot a guy, I do spot a guy, um, I'm thinking, right, what do I do here? Do I wait it out? Is he going to come at me? Do I put a couple of bullets down into him? I decide to start firing, take a bit of his shield off. He still doesn't know where the bullets are coming from. Are they coming from behind? So I had, again, the silent scar, guys. Can't, can't tell you enough. I decide to put up a barricade there just in case because he's getting a bit close and I think he spots me building at this point I'm thinking right do I build up or do I wait here I decide to not build up at all I decide to wait it out see what his move is because he's got to move to me he's got to move with the storm with me I'm waiting it out I'm waiting it out I'm thinking right this is my chance to win this game. I'm going to win it for you guys. I was there. I fire a couple of shells just to get him moving. I hear the storms coming in. He needs to start moving. And then I see him. He's running straight up to me. 
I absolutely laser him and he gets killed by the storm unfortunately we've done a lot of damage to him there but the storm unfortunately gets him that should have been enough kill under ours now I know this guy's above us which is why I run straight under this wooden plank here because if he has jumped down he's going to jump down on it and run that way still following the storm here guys and then I see him fighting up the top on the hill there I, tr I try and get a couple kills um, try and laser some bullets down because again they don't know where they're coming from and um, I get a couple shots on him I absolutely miss them all and I'm thinking oh blimey got to get in the storm here guys it's absolutely taking chunks and chunks off I think right I've got to build up here I've got to go in for the kill he gets the kill he gets a kill and then we get the win guys our first victory because they accidentally I was thinking what happened how did I win that there um but they uh blew each other up one of the guys killed himself and um yeah I was absolutely happy for you guys um, to get that win and let me know guys down below what did you think of this gameplay this commentary I'd love to hear your comments your feedback I love you guys so much and all the support you show me um, let me know down below I really appreciate you guys and thank you all for your support I'll see you soon